When a narcissist loses empaths permanently, this is how they'll react. When a narcissist loses control over an empath, it triggers a cascade of reactions that can leave lasting effects on the narcissist. What transpires when the carefully constructed facade crumbles, exposing the true colors of the narcissist? How does one navigate the stormy aftermath of such a revelation? These are questions we delve into, offering insight and guidance for those who have experienced or witnessed the unraveling of a narcissistic relationship. One of the most prevalent responses from a narcissist when they lose control is vindictiveness. The vindictive nature of narcissists arises from their inability to process feelings of hurt or disrespect. When they perceive themselves as wronged, their anger grows exponentially, fueling their desire for revenge. They resort to a range of malicious tactics such as spreading damaging rumors, tarnishing your reputation, or, in extreme cases, even engaging in physical violence. It is crucial to recognize the potential danger and take necessary precautions to protect yourself from these vindictive actions. It is important to note that not all narcissists react in the same manner when they lose control. Each individual has their unique response pattern influenced by their specific traits and circumstances. Some may retreat into a facade of victimhood, using manipulation and emotional blackmail to guilt their former empath back into submission. Others may escalate their efforts to regain control, employing gaslighting techniques and further exploiting vulnerabilities. Understanding the diverse range of reactions aids in navigating the complex aftermath. Narcissists, they hold grudges like no other, seeking vengeance when they perceive hurt or disrespect. Their fiery anger knows no bounds as they unleash their wrath upon those they deem responsible for their pain. They deploy savage tactics from scattering poisonous rumors to obliterating your reputation, or perhaps even descending into physical violence. But wait, there's more. Manipulation becomes their weapon of choice, aiming to regain control over the situation. Guilt-tripping, relentless bullying, and emotional blackmail become their sinister tools to make you feel responsible for their emotions. Coercion takes center stage, where they twist your arm with threats that range from self-harm to harming others, anything to bend you to their will. Intrigue? Brace yourself, for this is the merciless nature of narcissism. The twisted mind of narcissists. Narcissists possess an immense sense of entitlement, firmly believing they deserve special treatment and have an inherent right to obtain whatever they desire. Their demands and expectations become insufferable, presuming others should cater to their every whim and need. It is crucial to recognize that these behaviors extend beyond pathological narcissism and can manifest in anyone from time to time. However, for narcissists, these attitudes are chronic and resistant to change. Packed within the minds of narcissists are envy and guilt, an unlikely combination resulting in peculiar behavior aimed at concealing their deep-rooted shame. The perpetrators of devaluation, rejection, punishment, cheating, and scorn are also the ones who ultimately find themselves isolated. When they lose control over someone, their responses often follow predictable patterns. They may attempt to make amends, but it typically lacks genuine remorse for the harm inflicted. Many victims mistakenly internalize blame, feeling the weight of their vulnerability and abandonment. Alternatively, apologies may be prefaced with explanations such as, it's not me, it's my anxiety. They might rationalize, stating, my illness renders me incapable of controlling my actions due to my dependency on substances. I apologize, but you did say something 10 years ago that deeply offended me, so please accept this apology. First, the graveyard of empty apologies. Time, no matter how long, holds no power over apologies. They fade into the background forgotten as people effortlessly revert to their old ways. An apology loses its impact, becoming a mere attempt at reason, as they employ strategies like the gray rock technique, responding with monotonous one-liners, or the no-contact approach, vanishing into silence. To make amends for past wrongs and profess undying love, they may resort to a text or email, claiming ignorance of their transgressions but emphasizing eternal affection. Brace yourself for incoherent ramblings and veiled threats of exposure. Let the world know who you truly are. When considering a second chance, reflect upon the past. How many apologies have they uttered? Perhaps the count was not significant, but how many were there?
Did the apologies bring an end to their misbehavior? History tends to repeat itself, so why anticipate change this time? Question their sincerity and tread carefully on this treacherous path. Second, the elusive apologies of narcissists. A significant concern arises when narcissists find themselves entangled in a web of lies. They almost never offer sincere apologies. Their refusal to acknowledge their own flaws, misjudgments, mistakes, or limitations, both to themselves and others, prevents any admission of harmful behavior. Instead, they escalate their baseless accusations while altering previous statements and actions, embellishing achievements, and downplaying failures by constructing alternative narratives that will distort your intentions, even when explicitly stated, to fit their twisted perception. If you have spent considerable time with such an individual, they have likely mastered the art of manipulation and gaslighting, leaving you questioning your own sanity, especially if others seem to believe their fabrications as well. Covered narcissists can cunningly project an image of humility and remorse to outsiders, while internally harboring a deep-seated sense of superiority over others. Third, the manipulative infiltration. Post-breakup, they won't stop at just severing ties. They wield the power of persuasion, reaching out to your friends, relatives, and co-workers, feigning genuine concern for their well-being. They craft phrases like, their safety is my utmost priority, or, I fear they may have found a new love. I hope they're safe. Gradually, they integrate themselves into your social circles, ingratiating themselves with your comrades. In more audacious cases, they directly contact you and your loved ones, sending greeting cards, making surprise visits, or issuing dinner invitations. Their objective? To prove that their despicable facade masks a decent individual deserving of respect. This insidious tactic, known as enlisting flying monkeys, involves leveraging trusted allies from the victim's inner circle as their agents. Its purpose? To instill fear and compliance in the targeted individual, ensnaring them in a precarious situation where safety is compromised. It's a twisted mechanism that allows the perpetrator to control the narrative, both for themselves and others. Narcissism thrives on destruction, corroding from within, and if that fails, attempting to obliterate from the outside. Beware the manipulative infiltrators. Fourth, emotional blackmail, the narcissist's weapon. When faced with the consequences of their own wrongdoing, narcissists often resort to emotional blackmail as a desperate attempt to shift responsibility onto their victims. Peculiarly, a narcissist who experiences the loss of a close relationship or friendship may manipulate their victim by exploiting their own pain and shame, evoking sympathy and guilt. This audacious tactic requires unwavering audacity. The victim becomes ensnared in a cycle of pleading, tears, begging, whining, and anger, all in the hope of making the offender understand the depth of their suffering and elicit an apology. It resembles a scenario where the narcissist wets the bed and blames the innocent blanket, attempting to evade accountability for their actions. Fifth, they are frequently nasty and vindictive. Unmasking their true nature is deemed impolite. How dare you refuse to tolerate their antics any longer? Narcissists hold a firm conviction that their victims merit the cruelest treatment imaginable due to their perceived lack of worthiness. Some individuals unleash their violent tendencies, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. They revel in spreading malicious gossip, consciously withholding crucial information, resources, and support that they believe would restore their sense of superiority and control over their victims. In their twisted logic, they feel an obligation to set an example for their unfortunate targets, enforcing the belief that their victims are deserving of their wrath. Brace yourself for the unveiling of their malevolent side. Sixth, if they are unable to maintain their deception, control, or threat, they may attempt to create a trauma bond. When narcissists find themselves unable to continue their tactics of deceit, control, or threats, they may resort to developing a trauma bond with their victims. In the eyes of the victim, the narcissist's toxic behavior may have become normalized to the point where it no longer feels harmful. From an outsider's perspective, the abused individual may seem completely reliant on the narcissist for emotional stability, perhaps due to financial dependence, shared parenthood obligations, or other forms of dependency that pose barriers to escape. Furthermore, 
Physical health issues or sudden, shocking, traumatic events can create the perfect conditions for the narcissist to forge an unbreakable bond with their victim. In such cases, the narcissist will go to great lengths to solidify this bond, using all available means to ensure the victim's initiative and escape become excruciatingly difficult. The behaviors and traits described above are merely some of the manifestations exhibited by narcissists desperately grasping at control. Of course, the topic is vast, and there is much more to explore. Feel free to share your insights and contributions in the comments section below. Thank you.